From historic Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts, the show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox. And now, your 2022 Boston Red Sox. Just about ready to roll here. And on the mound now, Tanner Howe. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. The next offering misses and one and one. Here comes a pitch. Ripped on a line to center. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. Arroyo relayed a third oh, in man. there safely. Touch up to the plate. And a base hit, and they take the lead. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. First off, this is the mark. Maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first. Well, it's exactly if it's nerves or not it just doesn't happen now those hitters on the other side they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more gets his lead at first with nobody next offering is in for a strike the pitch and fouled off And a ball drives. And there's a ball. Nobody out. Runner at first. Here's Rizzo. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Out of the warning. And he holds it in. That is cool. right and here field. is Giancarlo Stanton. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Pitch downstairs, and that is ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. And down on strikes. That's out number two. Well, that splitter out of the hand. It just sort of jumps on you, and your interpretation is here comes a fastball again. Well, it never really reaches because the bottom falls out of it, and you swing over the top, and that's why they call it a split-finger fastball because it looks like a four-seamer. Kicks and deals. Yeah. And that's in for a strike. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. The 1-1. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. The pitch. And another. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Deals. 
And now it's filled up. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so some definitely scoring. And there's ball four. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner into scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. So first and second with two outs. Joey Gallo steps to the plate. This guy with big time power and an Vasquez drifts towards it. And that's the third out. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. And the home team down a run. Back here at Fenway and starting for the Yankees the right hander Frankie Montas and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you know, it's just a matter of luck it's not having a feel no different bullpen mound to the mound out there Here's on the playing field don't know what it is but I know this he's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home so we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Two the count. Oh and two as he waves at that one from a pitcher's perspective that's a beautiful splitter right there as a hitter you don't like it but he's commanded his fastball and out of that same tunnel that splitter comes and the bottom just falls out of it. The punch out there and that's the first out. And now J.D. Martinez. No left fielder. J.D. Martinez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And he deals. Strike two. I understand you want to try to gauge that guy's fastball, but you also have to be aggressive and ready to hit in your zone. Now you're in a tough spot. Ball one. The next pitch misses. One and two to count. One down, base is empty. Just missing there. It's two and two. Really two good two. take, especially with two strikes. Got him. Well, anytime you can the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning, got to be that feeling pretty good out there on the mound That's because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cook. And instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Next offering upstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is downstairs. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bat. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail here. One nothing. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. LeMayhew having more success against left-handed pitching this season as might be expected. And the right-hander back to work. In for a strike. And that is strike one. One thing about LeMayhew, he provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. Boog, one of our favorites, Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. Yeah. But most Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. Got it Isaiah Kiner Falefa up to the plate. Kiner Falefa. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Next pitch is outside.
at the belt and fires. Slice the other way. That's a base hit. Nice that job of driving that pitch the, the other way on a line. Oh. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Connor Falefa at first, one gone. And there's something you don't see very much in today's game, the pitch out. And a pitch. And he gets tied up right there. Talk about tying a guy up. Next offering is fouled back. Righty delivers. That one missing inside. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. That one ripped. That's a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back to back base hits. Maybe a now little out front of the pitch Let's right move. there, but he squared Andrew. it up pretty good and that he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Ben intending to the plate. Ground ball to the right side. And he handles oh. it for the out. The center number 99. Aaron. Aaron Judge oh. at the plate. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact. Delivers average slugging too. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Aaron Judge leads the yard. Home run number 15 on the year. And they throw three on the board. It's four. Power versus power right there. Like two locomotives colliding. Who's going to win? Well, a really good job there by the hitter getting the top hand working. Now Powers that fastball out of here. And, and here high. is Anthony Rizzo. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Anthony Rizzo circles the bases. And they boost their lead. It's 5 zip. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. Here's Stanton now. Now batting the right fielder, Giancarlo Stanton. In the air out to center, Verdugo on his way over. He makes the grab, and that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And the lead is now 5 nothing. Back here at Fenway, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Rafael Devers up to hit. Montas back to work. 
Raphael. Just oh, off the inside, inside edge. Left hand hitter waits. And Devers hits that one. It one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And that's a leadoff double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. So a man aboard. Here's the catcher, Christian Vasquez. The catcher. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Righty to the plate. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and hold it. The offense has worked hard. It's shut. Next offering misses. And now three and one. And the pitch. Fouls one away and now three and two. Devers leads off second with nobody out. On the ground right side. He takes it on his own. That's one out in the bottom of the second. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Bobby. Joe Beck. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. Had the day off yesterday. Hit pretty well in the air. Center. It's there. Makes the catch. Tagging from third. Tag. Now time. Right. He's safe. It's 5 1. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. Next pitch is outside, and the count is one and two. Two outs. Stays alive. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. And here it comes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches. And a swing and a miss. That's the third out. We played two full. It's the Yankees five. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Here's Josh Donaldson. Leading off for the Yankees. Josh Donaldson. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. No, I think this is an important inning for him in this game. He's got to find a way to settle things down and give some length in this start. Hater deals. Swings through that one. Going to count one and two. Got him looking. And one away. No, that's not the best two strike fastball I've seen, but certainly with the location there. Oh, you know, sometimes. As a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused Joey on a pitcher painting Yellow. the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Here's Joey Gallo. First time up was a pop out. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Left hand batter waits. That misses. And it's a ball and a strike. Here comes a pitch. And one. one. The pitch. 
Rip to right, base in. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. That ball was absolutely ripped. 111 off the bat. And I'm pretty sure it started to whistle after it left the bat. I think I heard that. These are the moments where you should stat cast and just see exactly what the data is. Always so much fun to see what numbers pop up. Verdugo makes the grab. And there's two down. Now batting. Man at first. And up next for New York, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. First offering and it just misses. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Steals. And foul. Gallo off of first with two. Next down low. Two balls, one strike. Kicks and deals. Out there to center. Verdugo. Under it. And that'll do it. For the Yankees, they leave it. Welcome back. Leading off, Christian Arroyo. Leading off for the Red Montas. Stop. Back to work. That's shortstop. Christian. In for a strike. Oh, strike boy, one. Yo. The wind of the pitch. Out front and the left side. Going to now. That's a base hit. So a man on base to So a man aboard. And here's the veteran outfielder, Jackie Bradley Jr. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Bradley waits. That misses off the outside edge. Right through there. Got him. One down. Well, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there, and I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Here's Alex Verdugo. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The pitch. There's a strike. And a pitch. And the 2 Stays alive. It's pitches outside. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little that's towards center. Judge is under it and puts the squeeze on it. That's out number two. Pinez stands in. No left fielder. JD. Mark out to short. And that is now. the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They're down here, five to one. Back here at Fenway Park, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and off, set to lead off fourth, Rob Brent. Rob Brent. Pitch. Swing and blast one down the look on if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, that ball is hit pretty hard and sure had home run distance, but if you're the pitcher out there on the mound, you execute it. Just a long term and finish him off. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Over to first, 
And a quick out number one. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not waiting for something to happen. They can smell a big inning or anticipate a situation setting itself up. Benintendi, batted with one down, takes a strike. This one in the air center field. Verdugo brings it in, and there's two away. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation, even at times when you're not a player on their team. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. Judge at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. Found nobody on. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. Martinez makes the catch. And that'll be go to the Yankees. They're up 5 1. Here's Xander Bolt. For the Red Sox. The designated hitter. Now fly ball Andrew. to right center. Bogo. Bogart's retired. Away. Up next Here's Raphael play. Devers. Doubled in his base first A.B. Raphael Devers. In the air out towards right center. Judge cutting across. Makes the grab. Two away down. Now so Here's Christian Devers. Vasquez. Christian. First pitch just misses. Now one and one. Just nasty. Swing and a miss. And it's one and two. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. Turn it. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they inch closer. It's 5-2. Well, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. You saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. All of a sudden, they're back in this ballgame. Bobby Dahlbeck, the next to hit. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first the time up. The first base. First oh, pitch doesn't the find the zone. Counts 1-0. and oh. Righty delivers. And there's the strike. 1-1. One and, one. and he deals. Ball there. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. That's the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's 5 2. Ladies Matt Strong on a pitch out of the pen here. Hasn't pitched in the last three days. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and the little length out of this arm coming out of the sea, just how many outs he's in. Rizzo, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Austin preparing to come on. Hernandez getting loose as well. Next one misses, one and one. At the belt. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. He circles the bases. He's done it again. His team. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-2. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one. Everything.
time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, so and just drove it out of here. Better than when the ball jumps off your Now it's no stand. And the 0 1. Wings through that. Always exciting to see a home run in an inning. Kind of gets fired up and you start to expect a big inning. And here it comes. And down on strikes. And there's one down. Now it's Josh Donaldson's turn to hit. Now third baseman, Josh Donaldson. And he hits a ground ball right side. And he takes it himself oh. for the out. Now that designated hitter, Joey Gallo. In now is the Yankees DH, Joey Gallo, one for two. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And one oh. Fouled off to the right. Here's a 1-1. One -one. And now 1-2. One and two. It might be time to choke up a little bit. Get that front foot down early. Maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. Next pitch in the dirt. 2-2. Two and two. And now the lefty. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next pitch misses outside. And the count's full. Kicks and fires. Got it. Third out. And that ends the frame. The Yanks do get one on the solo homer. It's now 6-2. Fenway, we head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's Kike Hernandez. Leading off. Possibly Red thinking Sox. about home run number the 100 here. He's just Kike. one shy of that milestone. Hernandez. The wind of the pitch. That's off the mark, and it's one and up. Righty to the play. Off the mark. Two balls, no strikes. Next offering is foul back. The two on. And a foul ball. And the 2 2. Good eye right there. They all pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there's one away. Here's Christian Arroyo. The battle. Not shortstop, Christian Arroyo. Oh. First offering misses the mark. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. To the right side. LeMayhew gets it to first. Two up, two down. Two outs, bases empty. And next for the Red Sox, Jackie Bradley Jr. Jr.
in the air center field judge makes the catch and that'll do it Red Sox go down one two three they still trip back inside Fenway Park here's the second baseman DJ LeMay the second baseman DJ here comes a pitch on the ground right side over to Dahlbeck oh. now one in the top of the sixth now batting shortstop Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And now Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Three for 11 in the series coming in. In there, and it's 0 1. 0 1 for the count. That's to third. Devers throws on to first. And a couple of quick outs. The batter. The Here's the catcher to hit. Rob, Rob Brantley. And there's a fly ball. Deep right field. That one back there. And it's gone. He flexes his power with that swing, his second of the year, and they add to the lead. It's 7 2. No, Boo, clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. The Andrew Benintendi up to Andrew. the plate. Benintendi. That one's in there, 0 and 1. And the 0 1. That one fouled off. The next ball. offering misses. Ball one. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with, so got to stay ready for it. On the ground, right side. Hernandez He's over out. to first in time. And Benintendi is out. And that is that. Solo Homer extends the Yankees' lead. It's now a 7 2 ball game. Back here in Boston.
Well, we go bottom six, and Red now ball. Alex Verdugo. Montas back to work. Verdugo. Foul ball. The other way. And Benintendi able to make the grab. The bat. No left fielder. JD. Here is JD Martinez. Martinez. And that's in there for strike one. Some guys are just more confident if they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0 1. Next offering misses. And that's ball one. Got the back going too soon. It's strike two. The one two. Dribbled up the third baseline. And it goes just foul. And the right hander deals. Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Here's the 2 2. Swing and miss, and he struck him out. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Xander. It's Xander Bogart's now. And he grounds one to the right side. Whips it to first. Bogart's retired. Gets him easily, ends the inning. Nothing doing for Boston. They're down five. It's seven to two. Your Sox go to the bullpen. Darwin's in Hernandez. Big deficit. Got a job to do. Aaron Judge is now for the Yankees. That's an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. Bounce to the left side. And that one finds its way through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Now batting. The first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. In the air, left field. Martinez moving under it. Calls it in for the out. Now here's Giancarlo Stanton. The right fielder. Giancarlo Stanton. Check swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. And he held back according to Rusty Valentine. The 1-0. A little bit low. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. That's a laser base hit. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. The automatic double now took that, that decision out of the hands of the third base Johnny. coach, didn't it? I mean, Johnny. was he planning to send him home? We don't know, maybe, but now he's preparing for a whole different situation with a pair of runners in scoring position. One away, runners at second and third. Josh Donaldson, now for the Yankees. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Pitch. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The 0 2. And yeah, this one bounces away from Vasquez. Play it home. He's safe. It's 8 2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And now two gone. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended now slump, that, one that lasts for several hit. games, even Jones. a week or more. Yeah, yeah. Well, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on oh, track, on. back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. The old one. Aye. 
Stanton on third. The next pitch misses, and the count one and two. Kicks and deals. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Yankees eight and the Red Sox two. Back here at Fenway, and it's Rafael Devers in the box. Leading off for the Red Sox. And the right-hander back to work. The third baseman, Rafael. On the ground, Devers. knocks it down. But the throw to first He's gets out. him easily, and that's the first out. Now back. And now it's Christian the Vasquez. Catcher. Christian Vasquez. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Ground ball, left side, and foul ball. And a pitch. Stays alive. The pitch. Just misses with that one. Just not taking the bait right there, but a good pitch with two strikes. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's two down. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other now way. Back. But First that time, a little anxious. Dolbeck. Dolbeck. At the plate with two Dolbeck. away. Swings through that one. The wind and the pitch. That one missed. One ball, one strike. Two outs. Fought off foul. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Red Sox go down quietly. Matt Barnes gets the nod out of the bullpen. Or his second appearance. Here's DJ LeMayhew. And the pitch. Bounce to the right side. Over to Dahlbeck. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batting, shortstop, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. So up next, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. This to third. Devers throws on to first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Now batting. Two outs, the base is empty. Rob. And here's the catcher, Rob Brantley. For the fourth time tonight. Out towards right center field. Snags it on the run. And that is that. Yanks held in check. They lead it 8 2. Back Ladies now, new pitcher on New the York mound as we three. roll into the bottom of the eighth. Now Michael King. He last pitched two days ago. Number 73. Now Michael it's the second baseman, King. Enrique Hernandez. And the pitch. That's a Leading slider off. for a strike. For the Red Sox. The second baseman. Oh, and one now. Hernandez. And a good eye there. One ball, one strike. Next offering is foul back. Here's a one two. And a foul ball. Oh. 
swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Oh, this guy's been pretty much a non-factor so far this weekend. Very little in the That's way of impactful okay. and quality at bats, oh, and let alone oh contact. That's the sixth time they've set him down on strikes in the series, so no doubt frustration mounting and very high right now. And there's a foul ball. The 0 2. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And two away now. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters right he's fielder. faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but Bradley. relievers are just so electric Junior. these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Bradley stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Down in order, go the Red Sox. And we're back here at Fenway Park. New inning getting started. Here's the Lead Yankees off. leadoff hitter, Andrew Benintendi. Andrew Benintendi. Barnes back to work. He swings and fouls one off. The 0 1. That's a ball. Into center and a base hit. Multi hit game for him now, and with the, the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling Aaron. some relief. Uh. As textbook as it gets, got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here is Aaron Judge. This is badly for ball one. Benintendi gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And Judge spoils that one. pitch line drive that's a base hit out of the left center field lead runner to second so two on and nobody out back to back singles that now pretty much it. split the zone down the, the middle baseball. and those are the ones to make them pay and next for New York Anthony Rizzo that's hard hit in the line can't get there should be extra bases one run is in. Now two runs score, and it's an eight-run lead. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. As now soon as that one shot right off his field. barrel, he was thinking extra Gun bases. Oh. Getting the bat out front, but not hooking around it or rolling over it. Just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Next offering popped in the air, right field. And there's one down. Now batting the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Down the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Swings through that one, 0-1. Oh, this is one of those situations where the pitcher may not really want to deal with the guy in the box, and you got to be aware of that. Take your walk. I can. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. Josh Donaldson leaves the yard, and they add on. It's 12-2.
that's just hitting you cannot teach. Incredible split finger away. Somehow he got there, hooked it, and got enough barrel to hit that ball out of the Your ballpark. That's a very impressive swing. So the Red Sox bring on a new Number pitcher, 31. Jake Diekman. Jake. He's being eased Diekman. into the game here with the bases empty. And now it's Joey Gallo. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Still only one out here in the inning. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. At the belt and fires. And it's fouled away. Hard hit, right side. In plenty of time to first. And they take care of Gallo for the out. Now batting. The second Up to the plate steps DJ LeMayhew. Good contact guy, good defender. Bounced up the middle. There's Hernandez handling the chance. Throws to first. Out number three. To the bottom of the ninth we go. Top of the order, do up. Yankees 12 and the Red Sox 2. Chad Green ready to go and he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. Back here at the ballpark bottom nine and now the center fielder Alex Verdugo and that's the a strike. Alex Verdugo. Next pitch is downstairs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. Bounce to the right. Steps on first for the out. Now back. And Martinez. JD. Martinez. In there for strike one. A one down. Next offering misses down and away. One and one. Right handed reliever. That misses. Oh, and it's two and one. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. That's the second out. Well, we saw a solid effort out of their starter, and the bullpen is following suit. It's just a good day as no a manager Number or as a two. pitching coach when you Definitely can hand the ball hitter. off to multiple arms and get stability from all of Bogart. their performances. And here is Xander Bogarts. In there, and it's 0-1. Right-hander kicks deals. Foul ball there. New York just one out away. Try to close it out. And a swing and a miss. And that is the ball game. Well, I don't know what they did in the cage day or on the field for batting practice, but when you win by double digits, something is clicking. That batting coach feels pretty good about himself right now, but more so the players. They can't wait for the next one. Come back out, score, and get another W. And your final 12 2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Time of the ball game, three hours and 36 minutes.